good day. So welcome back to my channel. You know, sobrang tagal ko na hindi nagbablog. Maybe it's been a year na. And right now, I am going to vlog again. And I'm really confident at masaya pa ako na isishare ko po sa inyo yung mga knowledge that I have gained through readings. Especially psychology, psychology books, you know, it's really amazing. So right now, I'm gonna talk about how to be charismatic. Ano nga ba yung tinatawag nilang charisma? Okay? So based on the dictionary, pag tinatawag natin charismatic ka na tao or charisma, yun ay yung tipo na you are attractive, you are appealing. Kung baga, wala kang ginagawa, you're just walking, you're just sitting, you're just standing right there. And napapansin ka ng mga tao. Alam mo yun? Yung tipo na gumaganon ka lang, pero marami nang nakakapansin sa'yo because you have that charisma. You are charismatic. So, you know, there are a lot of people right now, especially the teenagers nowadays, yung tipo na sinasabi nila, ang pangit ko, wala nang magmamahal sa akin, wala nang magkakagusto sa akin, dahil hindi ako kagwapuhan, hindi ako kagandahan. You know what? Nadidistort na tayo ng social media eh. Right? So, kung baga yung social media, dinidistort niya yung standards of beauty ng babae at saka lalaki. So, right now, I'm gonna talk to you why is it important na magiging charismatic ka in the sense na kahit hindi ka masyadong kagandahang lalaki or kagandahang babae. So, I'm gonna talk three, three things how to be charismatic. Alright, so sinabi ko kanina na what are the three things para maging charismatic ka na tao? Yung tipong appealing ka, yung mapapansin ka. Okay, this is more about mature type na around 20s na, okay? Around 20s na sa mga bagay na ito. So, sa mga teenager kasi kapag pogi na or maganda na sa paningin nila, attractive na yun eh. I'm talking all about mga mature type na, okay? So, basically, ang nagpapakarisma sa isang tao is number one, the social status. Yung tinatawag nating social status is may trabaho ka ba? May career ka ba? Kung gano'n yung sweldo mo? Mayaman ka ba? Yung gano'n. Yung, it's more on about the social status that you have in the society, Okay? Uh, right? For example, may skill ka ba? May talent ka ba? Kaya mo bang buhayin yung mabubuong mong family? That's it. So, dapat, unang-una, dapat, dapat mong puntiriyahin na dapat mabuong yung social status mo ng ganun. Kapag, kapag middle class ka na or rich ka na, mataas na yung social status mo, that means you are charismatic. Na. Okay? Number two, you should have a good character. Dapat maganda yung character mo. It's more on your personality, okay? The totality of yourself. Dapat maganda yung character mo eh. Right? For example, dapat positive ka, okay? Kasi minsan tayo kapag um, nakikipag-meet tayo sa ibang mga tao na hindi positive yung mindset nila or negative. Right? For example, they have the task to be work or to be finished. Tapos reklamo sila ng reklamo, yung gano'n. Yung nakaka-negative nakaka na vibes, yung ayoko ng gano'n eh. So, dapat yung good character ipoposis mo eh. Alright, so, yun yung tinatawag of positive. Not only positive in the sense na emotionally positive ka, but you have that positive mindset, okay? Right, for example, if you have that goal, marami ka mga goals sa buhay mo, tapos hindi mo siya naaating, Okay? So, dapat you should keep on trying. You should keep on trying and also to reach the limit. And when you reach the limit, you should break the wall. Okay? Not just only to stop there or to wala kang ginagawa. You should strive, okay, for you to achieve those dreams of yours. So, napaka-importante yung tinatawag natin positive mindset. Okay? That's one of the... Um, examples of good character and of course discipline okay everyone or everybody um is finding hard or it's really hard to find you know discipline in oneself so ang hirap ng discipline eh kahit na magdi-diet ka diba right for example medyo malaki yung katawan mo tapos magdi-diet ka it's really hard it's really hard to work out every day it's really hard gumising na maaga it's really hard to take a bath na sobrang lamig ng tubig yung ganun sabi nila yung Yung unang buhos lang yung malamig, yung ganun. Eh, kinuha mo yung unang buhos, tinapon mo. Pagka buhos mo yung pangalabang buhos, malamig pa din yung ganun. <laughs> Sobrang hirap, corny. Alright, so meron hirap talaga yung tinatawag nating discipline. But, you know, if you have that character, that pushes you to become a charismatic type of person. Okay?
So that's it. That, that is all about good character at marami pang mga bagay-bagay yan. Positivity, um, discipline, um, patience, yung ganun, polite. Okay, that's all about it. And the last one na dapat mong uh, isipin para na maging charismatic ka ay dapat you should be good looking or physically attractive ka. Okay? Merong mga tao na ano, merong mga tao na inay ka sa kanila eh. Natural na, si, na, na sa kanila na they are beautiful, you know, they are handsome. Parang ako. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm an average type of person, you know. Alright, so basically, dapat magiging physical, ano ka, physically attractive ka. So right, for example, sasabihin mo, ipangit naman talaga ako. According to standards of this world, pangit ka. Okay, paano ka magiging attractive kung hindi ka kagwapuhan masyado or hindi ka kagandahan? Alright, so you should remember this one. Dapat bumawi ka sa ibang aspeto. Okay, right, for example, hindi ka kagwapuhan masyado. But you need to build your physical characteristics. Okay, mag-work out. Okay? Pag maganda yung katawan mo, maganda yung tindig mo, maganda yung postura mo, you know, you have that muscle, you have that toned muscle, you have that belt, you look attractive. And take note ha, napaka-importante na maging mabango ka. Okay? For example, hindi ka nakagwapuhan, hindi ka nakagandahan, tapos mabaho ka pa. Eh, sinong papansin sa'yo, di ba? Hindi ka na-charismatic doon. I'm just telling the truth, okay? So, dapat pumili ka or bumili ka ng mga colognes or perfumes na babagay talaga sa scent mo, okay? Kung hindi ka kagwapuhan, hindi ka kagandahan, dapat bumawi ka sa ibang aspeto ng iyong sarili, okay? Dapat, at saka take note ha, dapat marunong kang pumorma, okay? Dapat marunong kang pumorma na bagay sa'yo. Meron kasing mga tao na guapo or maganda pero hindi marunong pumorma. So, anong nangyayari? Hindi sila nagiging attractive. Ekes, ganun. So, dapat marunong kang pumorma kahit hindi ka kagapuan pero kapag nakaporma ka, wow, you look so attractive, man. You know what I'm saying? You know that? Okay? Nagiging attractive ka, nagiging pleasing ka, nagiging charismatic ka. Okay? Paano? Paano man nalalaman or malalaman na Bagay sa akin to or maganda yung forma. Okay. I know you're watching TV, right? You have televisions in your home. Okay. So, dapat marunong ka manood sa mga forma ng mga artista. Wow. Ganda. Or kapag pumunta ka sa city, okay, tignan mo yung mga manikin. Nakatayo yung mga manikin, di ba? They have that uh, wonderful shirts, wonderful dresses, wonderful attire. So, kapag nasa manikin yan, maganda yun na yun yung pinakabida nila, yung pinakapopular na design or Yeah, yung clothing nila. So, dapat marunong kang kumilatis kung maganda nga ba yun. Mostly kasi sa manikin magaganda yung dinidisplay din din nila dyan. So, dapat marunong kang uh, mapamatsyaga dapat. Dapat observant ka. Okay? So, kapag naman lumalabas ka, right, for example, going to city, going to town, or kahit sa barangay ninyo, at saka may nakita kang tao, wow, ganda ng forma niya. Yung ganun, So, naging charismatic siya, di ba? And you, you can take that one as an advantage of yours, okay? Try ko nga to, kung bagay din sa akin, okay? Kung hindi ka physically, physically attracted, bumawi ka sa ibang mga bagay. Clones, you know, belt ng katawan, yung posture mo. And then, um, sa clothing, sa mga damit. Alright, so, so yun yung mga bagay na dapat nating tandaan to be charismatic. Of course, una yung social status natin in the society, you need to improve that one because it is included para maging appealing ka sa mata ng ibang tao. Alright? Second one is you need to build a good character. Okay? And the last one is dapat ano ka, physically attractive ka. Okay? You should take care of yourself. You should value yourself. You should give importance on yourself. It's because kung binavalue mo, binibigyan mo ng value, halaga yung sarili mo, yung ibang tao, bibigyan ka din ng halaga na deserve. Okay? So thank you so much everyone for watching. And you know, nagbasa ako before I'm uh, having this vlog. I read a lot of psychology books. I watch uh, videos, especially coach base. Credits po kay coach base. Marami akong kinuhang laman ng content na ito galing sa kanya. He's a psychologist. He is an expert. 
Pero wala siyang mukha sa YouTube as just his voice na naririnig. Sobrang ganda ng boses niya. It's so deep. So, ayun, thankful ako sa kanya kasi some of his uh, teachings ina-apply ko sa aking true life. True to life. Uh, true to life scenario. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, I'm very much thankful kasi bumabalik ako sa vlogging because um, it's boring right now. So, I have to make a step para na Para na ano, para maging makabuluhan din yung buhay natin, di ba? Hindi yung puro work, puro gala. So, abangan niyo yung susunod kong mga vlog. I really wanted to go outing, camping, you know, painting. And uh, a lot of talk like this na makakapag-share po ako sa inyo kahit konting bagay. Makakapag-advise po ako sa inyo. I'm not that really expert. But I am very vivid or I am very um, determined to read a lot of books para maging knowledgeable po ako. And I really wanted to share it with you. And I hope na na-inspire po kayo, na tuwa or natawa. It's just, you know, I'm having some corny jokes. I'm not that really good in having some jokes. Because I'm not that really good in terms of vlogging, you know. But I'm gonna improve later on in my life. And um, I'm very much thankful. So, guys, please like. Uh, share and subscribe to my channel. It's me, Mio XD. You know, I'm very much thankful because on uh, one, one of my vlogs is more than three. Any siya vlog videos pa lang na inupload ko sa aking YouTube channel. Uh, more than 3,000 views. Yung pinakamalaki yung views ko. And some other vlogs mo, hundreds. Yung iba yung pinakaabot ng hundreds. So, I'm just starting and you know it's been a year at bumabalik na ako ngayon. So hoping po na i-share niyo po yung aking um, vlogs na ito para ma-inspire naman po ako to make another vlogs. And you can comment down below kung ano po yung mga content na gusto niyo um, ipagawa sa akin. Okay? So thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you guys um Nasayahan kayo, na-inspire kayo, natuwa kayo and hoping for more videos na pagsasamahan natin. So, come soon, dog.